It's the start to another week, but we're kind of getting the perfect snow this morning. It's about 19 degrees, no wind, so it's just kind of beautiful out here. I was hoping to have a little room so I could change the oil on my pickup, so maybe we'll use one of those little snap the fingers transitions to kind of clean the shop up here. And just like that, it's all cleaned out. You know, definitely don't mind that tractor that just randomly showed up here or anything. And this morning's plan is I actually just plugged in the old farm all here, because we're actually going to take this guy out of here and then put our service pickup kind of where this thing's parked. I had the good old 806 diesel plugged in for a few hours, so... We'll see if she fires up here now. Ain't no problem. We'll get the Walinga thrown kind of in front of the 9280 there and we should be all good again. Our plan to put the one ton inside the Quonset over there didn't quite work out so we ended up just kind of having to spit on it and shove it in the shed here. But uh, not the kind of most normal way to put it in here. She's a little sideways but it does work so we just got to get the four wheeler thrown in here now and we should be good. And now we got a bunch of room in the shop here. So finally getting the oil changed on my pickup. I've been wanting to do this for a while there. A little cold outside. Actually got it all draining out already. Just got to get the filter pulled off too. And it's been about a year since I changed the oil on it. Hasn't got a ton of miles on it. I pretty much just use this pickup for farm work and then run into town to get some parts. And one of the best purchases I've ever actually gotten on this pickup is this big old grill guard here. So I actually ended up hitting a deer one day and it kind of squished in the front bumper on the pickup there. So I had to figure out something. I was actually working down at the farm show in Great Falls and these guys were selling this bumper for, what was it, 750 bucks, I think. So for a whole bumper and grill guard as one, I was like, that is a steal of a deal on that. So. I definitely bought it that day and got it slapped on here and it looks good on the pickup and it works great. It's uh, taken care of quite a few speed goats and it's pretty handy for holding all the oil and actually if I'm working on the engine or stuff I can actually kind of get my feet in there so I can actually stand inside of this thing and work in there too. So it's about negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit this morning and negative 13 with the wind chill. But the guys decided they wanted to come get the canola today, so I got the trucks all plugged in and we actually got this thing started, so I'm gonna get all the snow out of it. and Hopefully our trucks are gonna start when they actually get here. So the next thing that might be an issue is our belt might actually be frozen, so hopefully it's not, but we're gonna find out here in just a second. And the belt did end up working. I'm actually just sitting in the pickup here quick because it is freezing out there. But we got everything set up here and it's not getting any warmer. You can probably see the little icicles in my beard and stuff, but actually this canola is gonna end up going up to Canada. So those guys are probably used to all the cold weather. <laughs> Goodbye canola. 
we got everything in the semi on their truck so we got most of the canola out of here but we still do have a little bit inside the freight liner also my face is extremely cold and uh, yeah my toes and fingers are just kind of in pain right now getting a bunch of garbage and other stuff kind of cleaned out of the dodge this morning but good way to save money if you're replacing your windshield wipers we Put a brand new one on driver's side, but you know what? I think this one's got some life left in it, so we're just gonna leave that on there. You know, save us 20 bucks or however much windshield wiper is. And one little job here today is actually running over to my dad and brother's place. I gotta check their houses because they're both on vacation. And hopefully sometime when it's a little bit warmer out, we can actually come over here and kind of do a tour of all the equipment my dad has because he's got a ton of stuff including a few John Deere sprayers, a bunch of spray flex sprayers, some Case IH fertilizer spreader trucks, also pretty much a full fleet of trucks and a few more combines. Back when I was growing up living at my dad's farm I never had to worry about being bored because there was always a million things to work on. Since winter is kind of our slower time of the year, there's always lots of different meetings to go to. So actually, yesterday we went to a chemical meeting. That's why I have this new hat here. And you end up with lots of papers when you go to these meetings. So all types of different products, like these ones are for different weed control in different crops. And you get your insecticides. Also at this meeting, we kind of went over some of the crop insurance and uh, replanting payments is kind of what that paper is going over. Let's see, what is this one? A uh, More insecticides here. You can see it gets rid of some of the little bugs. And then just another crop insurance type one. Some of your rotation statements and um, important dates for doing your crop insurance. So that's another thing. If you don't follow like the crop rotations, you don't actually get crop insurance on certain things. So... There is just tons and tons of rules that the farmers got to follow if they're trying to use crop insurance and well you got to follow all the rules for all your different chemicals and stuff too. Let's see if we can get this thing moved here. Arr, hopefully it's not frozen on the ground. And next week we are going to start hauling some wheat actually out of these first two bins there but i wanted to make sure our auger was going to be ready to go so i did finally get this thing moved out of here just kind of want to check some of our belts and stuff make sure they're all ready and this one is pretty nice too because it is just electric so we just plug it into the power we got by the bins there and it makes it really simple for loading up the semi <laughs> 